Good evening, everybody. Hello. We are here in the Hollywood Studios. We are. Mm -hmm. We haven't been here in years. Years, yeah. This is where Galaxy's Edge is. Mm -hmm. This is where um, uh, Toy Story, Toy Story Land is yeah. here too. It's funny you should bring up Toy Story Land because that is where we're having dinner tonight at the new Woody's Roundup Barbecue. I think so. Is that what yeah. It's, called? Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it's, it's been a open. Buffet. Yeah, it's a buffet. It's been open only for about five months or five so. Five months, right? And I'm wondering if it's going to bring me back to Big Thunder Ranch and in, in uh, California at Disneyland. We used to have a Big Thunder Ranch there, which is all you care to eat barbecue. That's right. And so I'm in the mood and seeing what this one offers. Yeah, from what we saw in the videos. It looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready yeah. to go try it out. Yeah, so we're gonna go and uh, we have reservations at 7:50. We'll see if they take us in early, cause I'm hungry. Let's Me go. too. As we make our way down to Hollywood Boulevard, which is their main street, it's pretty busy here. And as you can see, it first thing you see ahead is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We went on there uh, when we were at Disneyland. And it kind of looks like the Man's Chinese Theater. That's the way it's kind of modeled after. Does it? Like yes. we're in the front? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. This street is lively. It is. We made it to the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Here it is. We're going to go check in and see if we could get in early. So here at Woody's Roundup Barbecue, it is busy. So re reservations are highly recommended here. Trips are going to be right there to the left. You're going to have right this way. It happens every time. Oh, wow, it looks How pretty. How cute. It's big. Yeah, it is. Look at that. ceiling too, babe. Yeah. They're going to be right here. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. It is absolutely the cutest in here. So Toy Story. But here's the menu. You this get is a lot a, of choices for everything. This is an all you care to eat dining option. You know what they have available upon request? A cedar plank salmon. Oh, that sounds good. We may yeah. have to try it. And these are your drinks. These drinks are included, and the rest of them are the alcoholic beverages, which are additional fee. I kind of forgot how much it was per person over here. I don't remember. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> it's a party. It's a party. Party. It. Look at that. A complete barbecue, a paper plate. Oh, I'm sorry. Not quite paper, but I like the look of it. So how this buffet works is that, or this yeah, it buffet, the backyard barbecue, they bring out everything to you. And the only thing you have to pick is your four sides and what you're wanting to drink. So we got our Diet Coke. This is the first one. Oh, they're nice and warm. These are cheddar biscuits. Let's go ahead and break this open for you. Oh, nice and fluffy and Oh, soft. yeah. Cheddar biscuits in here. They are warm. And this is with a sweet pepper jelly. I'm going to put some jelly on here. Put a little bit of jelly right here. And let's try this out. And this is just amazing. You can taste the pepper flavor, not the heat. You can taste the pepper flavor. This is a nice cheddar biscuit. It is warm. It is fluffy. It matches that jelly just divine. I just want to kind of pour this jelly on this whole thing and then probably order some more jelly, just the jelly. And they'll this bring out more amazing. biscuits if you want. Yep, again, it's all you care to eat and they'll bring out as much as you care to eat. They're gonna like this one, babe. Three appetizers that they brought out are the fresh cut watermelons. You know, I love watermelons. 
a kale salad and like a tomato and apple salad. A little bit of uh, pickled onions in it, I think. This one looks very fresh. Both of these look fresh. I'm excited about that uh, watermelon, so I'm gonna try that one out. Oh, nice and juicy. Any balsamic or anything, baby, or just straight up watermelon? Straight up watermelon with a little bit of mint leaves on it. It's not the sweetest watermelon that I've had, but it is sweet and juicy. It's very good. Look, you can see how, how much sparkly that is. It's very good. I'm going to try out these tomato and cucumber salad. Cut my little tomatoes so they're a bit more bite sized. Get that cucumber here. Really good tart vinaigrette on that. Um, what is this like? Some sort of like tarragon or something. These things right here. I think it's like a tarragon or something like that, baby. Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm. That little bit of the vinaigrette tartness with this nice fresh tomatoes and cucumber. That is absolutely delicious. It really cleans your palate well. Let me try this kale salad right here. It's the kale salad. Really good kale salad. I can't get the dressing on this one though. Apple. Oh, it is apple. Apple and kale salad. What I like about the Yusu salad is that it does have a dressing on it, but it's very lightly dressed, so it's not heavy. Pretty sure you can ask for maybe more dressing on the side, but the way it is here, it's it's exactly the way you would want it. Yeah, it almost has a color of like a Caesar's dressing, but I, I know it's not Caesar's. These salads are delicious. Everything came out all at once. These are all the meats they had to offer right here. It comes out all at once. And then of course they had like I think seven or eight sides, but we only picked four. You only can pick four at a time. So we got our vegetable, our street corn, our fried pickles, and the slinky dog mac and cheese. And upon request, you can request salmon. Oh, it's yeah, all included. It right so I had to go ahead and try the salmon. The cedar plank salmon. Yeah, so let's go ahead and try the salmon here. And again, it's upon request for the salmon. Let us try this one out. That is a good salmon. The sauce looks it's like a, maybe like a little terry sauce. It tastes like a little terry sauce on that. And that is really good. It's cooked very well. This is a good sized salmon. I can imagine this on a, a top of a salad. Wow. I'd probably request this one again, too. And it's nice they gave you a manageable piece for both of us to share. Right. Because there's so much other food. Right. Check out this cornucopia of barbecue meats here, starting with all the sliced brisket. Look at that. Wow, there's a lot of it, too. My gosh, I think they found out that we're like brisket lovers. And what do we have here? Uh, chicken. We have two huge pieces of barbecue chicken. We have pork spare ribs, sausage, peppers in the middle. Yeah, there's even more chicken, looks like on the bottom. So it looks like really almost like a half a chicken in here. So we're gonna kind of spread all this meat out, divvy it up. I'm excited for that brisket. I'll try that one out. Party! Woo! Yay! Party! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I like that the Rex arms. We cannot request what type of brisket you want. You know us, we always want the fatty or what they call like the moist brisket versus the lean. But they say there's no special request, so it's a luck of the draw which one you get. And I think we did pretty good. This is like a combination of, uh, of almost like a fatty brisket. We have three sauces on the table. We have a spicy, a classic, and sweet. So let me hit it up with a little of the classic first. We'll start with that one and see how it is. 
So this is the brisket. Here we go. That brisket is pretty good. It's thinly sliced. It's smoky. You can even see a smoke ring on it. This is one that we haven't uh, cut up yet, but look at the bark. There's even a bark on the end of it. So the brisket itself, very tasty. The classic is not too sweet. It's not spicy at all. It's almost right in the middle. Let's try out their sausage out. As you saw, the sausage was kind of like in a spiral. Very good sausage. It's very, has a lot of spices in it. I'm not sure what kind of spices it has, but you could taste that herbs, spice, along with the pork. It's pretty good. And it's so, it's so small in diameter too. Not bad. One of the other things I was excited to try is the pork ribs. Whoa, look at that. Just by looking at it, it looks like it came from our barbecue house. Here we go. Okay, great bite on this. It has a nice peppery uh, dry rub, a little bit of wet sauce on it. So be prepared, a lot of black pepper flavor to it. It's not fall off the bone, so it has that great meaty bite when you bite onto this rib. I really like this rib. It's, it's very tender and juicy. You can just tell. Mm. The more I eat this rib, the more I like it. This is good. I might have to order more of these ribs. They're fantastic. What I really like about this whole meal is me, I'm a sides person. So I'm gonna go ahead and first try out my sides. This is the Slinky Dog Mac and Cheese. That it has the little curly cues of the pasta. It has, it's all covered in cheese, plus they sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top. This looks delicious. That's a good everyday mac and cheese. I can see kids loving that mac and cheese, nothing fancy about it. It's just a really good mac and cheese, and I like the noodles. I like the little swirl noodles in there. Now, we hear, he's been watching a lot of videos on this place, and they say, these fried pickles are the thing here. Of course, you gotta like pickles, and you gotta like mm -hmm. fried pickles. The pickles are still crunchy. It's a very dill pickle, and it's fried. It's good, but you have to like you have to like pickles. It's not very pickly. It just tastes like a regular pickle that's fried. It's good. It probably needs maybe some ranch dressing as a dip. As a dip. That sounds yeah. good. And then the vegetable. The roasted vegetables. And they seem to give you uh, like some zucchini, some red peppers on it, some squash. Mm -hmm. Look the like vegetables. It has a slight seasoning on it. They are crunchy still. They're really good. They're nice and al dente. It's soft in the center and they're crunchy on the crust. And it has a very light seasoning, a little bit of spice to it. That's a good vegetable. And of course, the street corn. Has the cheese on there, has the butter on there, has a little bit of the little bit pepper on there. Let's go try this out. This corn is nice and it's juicy and it's sweet. The cheese on top, I like it, but I can see how it could be a little bit overpowering for some people. So I'm not sure if they're able to maybe do without cheese or maybe put the cheese on the side, but the corn is really sweet. And again, I like the cheese. Totally street, street corn, but I can see how it can be overpowering for some. But you know what the beauty is? If it's not something you care for, you could swap it out for something else. Yes. And that's pretty good. Yeah, and you can see it's definitely grilled. So I'm sure the corn is sweet. It is sweet. I dug around this basket and I found it. The barbecue thigh. My favorite 
piece of a chicken. Here we go. I'm not getting a lot of barbecue like penetration into the chicken meat, but it is tender though. So it, it's not bad. I think it may, might depend on what type of uh, chicken part that you get, but it is, it is a good piece of chicken. At least it's not dried out. I'm gonna try out this rib. You can smell it. You can smell this, the meatiness of this. Mmm. It's a good rib. It's succulent. It's tender. And as you can see, there's still a lot of juices in there. Oh yeah. I can see why he wants to order more. You can taste the smokiness of it. And this is without any sauce. I don't think it needs sauce, but I'm a sweet person, so I'm gonna hit it up with some sweet sauce. Here we do go ahead you, and do it for me, babe. Sure. There you go. Out. Let's try this out. Turn this rib. Come in, Mother Earth. We have a yard sale in the forward territory. I repeat, oh, yard cool. sale in the forward territory. Yard sale. Guys, guys, hold your horses. It seems like about every five, five, seven minutes, something happens in here. Yeah, so it's, it could be Sid coming by. It could be Rex doing a dance party. It's always something. How fun is that? Oh, back to my rib. This this sauce is extremely, not extremely sweet, but it is on the sweet side. And it's absolutely delicious. I like it. You have to try the spicy one, babe, and see how spicy that is. Okay, was. I will. I did hit up the other part of my rib with the spicy barbecue sauce. Let's see how spicy it is. Vinegary, mildly spicy. That's how it is. On a level, out of 10, 3.5, really? maybe a 4, uh, maybe a 4. But it's not like some of the other spicy ones that we've had that'll put that fire in your head. But it's pretty good though. So far, of all the different meats, my favorite is that brisket and the pork ribs. I like those a lot. Number 3 and 4 would be the chicken and the sausage. I'm just <laughs> He's hiding. We are all toys in this rodeo, and Sid is around. A dino, baby. A dino. That's alligator. No, that. That's alligator, not that one. Look, they're doing it the good. Oh, stop. <laughs> Dessert time. Dessert time. So our server was kind enough to give them one of each, give us one of each dessert. So we have the forky one right here. This is a chocolate silk. This is a lemon blueberry cheesecake. This one is a strawberry, oh, apple strawberry. First, I'm going to go ahead and try this chocolate silk right here. Oh, that looks really good. And I like these are absolutely cold. I like it. Here we go. Yeah, the call it pies in a jar. Mm. That's some good stuff right there. Nice, creamy, not sweet, not extremely sweet, just a touch of sweet. Chocolate all the way. Delicious. The next one is this blueberry, oh, right baby? Oh, it's a lemon yeah. blueberry cheesecake. Lemon blueberry cheesecake. Just look at this one. Oh, let me clean my palate really quick. Okay, here we go. Lemon blueberry cheesecake. You can see the cheesecake, you can see the blueberry. I believe this is lemon right on top. That's a good one. The G cake is extremely creamy. You can taste the blueberry and the lemon is tart. So you have sweet, sweet, and tart. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a really good mixture. 
little, the best of all worlds in this one. Here we have the apple pie. I'm a fan of apple pies, I'll be honest. Let's see how this is. Now this apple pie filling tastes so familiar. It could be from the McDonald's apple pie. It could be the apple strudel that we had in Epcot earlier this afternoon. It could be from Hostess. <laughs> it's, I, I think it's the same ingredient to make this apple pie filling universally everywhere. And, and that's what it tastes like. And I'm a fan of it. I like it. Here. Next, we have the staff favorite here, which was the strawberry peach. Strawberry peach. Strawberry peach. Our server loves this. The person that delivered it loves this. Let's try it out. Try one more time. It's a graham crust all the way at the bottom. I gotta go deep on this one to get all of the flavors. To me, it, it, it's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a good, almost like a jam type of flavor to it of the peach and a strawberry. So if you could picture getting both of those flavors in a jam and just kind of mixing it and put it over graham crackers with some whipped cream, boom, this is what you have right here. So yeah, well, out of these two, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm an apple guy. I was correcting you all night. You kept saying forky, forky, but I, I thought it was sporky because look, it's like a spork. But yeah, it is called Forky. Who knew? This is a chocolate cupcake. Uh, let me try to take it out. And then Forky is a, is a sugar cookie. Uh, can I take this out? How do I, how do I get this open? I think you, just, you can just pull them out, babe. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh my god. I think it's all too much barbecue. I think <laughs> that's just... Anyway, let, let's give it a try. There's like a lemon cookie. This chocolate cake, it's almost like a devil's fruit cake. Very moist, very chocolatey. This is very good. You would kind of think that something like this would be kind of dried out. It's not. It's very good. Yeah. Good job, little guy. It tastes good. Let's try out this cake. Mm. That's a good cake, right? I almost tastes like a chocolate lava. No, this is a really good cake. And um, Porky, soft cookie. Porky is sweet. My cake is really good. I'm bad. That's a wrap from uh, Woody's Backyard Barbecue. barbecue. I think no, it's, it's called, barbecue. No, it's called uh, something. Okay, well, it's Woody, Woody's Backyard... Uh, bundle? <laughs> bundle. Oh, well, it's Woody's Barnyard. Barnyard. Maybe barnyard. it's Barnyard yeah, Barbecue. It be, there you be. go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was definitely worth the money. $45 yeah. per person. So much food. It is. Very good barbecue. And the food, what it is. food was good. Oh, yeah. Uh, the the uh, service was stellar. Yeah, uh-huh. And the, just the ambiance and being inside and the role-playing, it's, it's a lot of fun. 
I recommend this place. Yeah, uh, one thing they did change was they don't have that uh, Andy comes in the room and everybody freezes. I see. I saw that in so many videos, but they don't do that anymore. No, now it's Sid. Sid comes into the uh, yeah, backyard. But, but nobody really freezes yard and sale. stuff like no, it used to be. Not everybody knows. Yeah, I think that's why. Because we heard each one about three times, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was still a lot of fun over here. It is. Mm -hmm. So we could definitely recommend this barbecue, uh, I guess all you can eat buffet yeah. style. Yeah, all you care to eat and then we would come back again for oh, this yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I would get different sides. Mm -hmm. uh, the corn I didn't care for, but I didn't want another side because we're so full. Yeah, and then we had, they had a lot of plant-based things as well. Yeah. And yeah, I try did, out that salmon. Yes, the mm -hmm. salmon is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, they do have, like you said, a plant-based option if mm -hmm. you don't want the meat platter. Yes. Wow. You have a shout out. On yes, this one. I have one. I have Eileen. Happy birthday, Eileen. Happy birthday. Okay. Well, we have one more video left here mm -hmm. in our uh, Orlando. Yeah, and our Orlando visit. Yes. Yep. And but we're gonna go to sleep now. We're tired. We're running about probably in about three hours of sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So this was almost a two-hour experience, by the way, mm -hmm. and it is very loud. It so is. it is not like a romantic setting over here. No, no. Yeah. But uh, it is very lively. Yeah, You'll so, like it. Oh, yeah, you will. So until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one.